Hello everybody, how's it going? It's Ryan 904 here, and welcome to the first episode of Finding Glitches and Easter Eggs. Today we are going to start with the action replay on the DSR XL, which is actually my second handheld system. Anyway, we're using the action replay, which is a well-known cheating system for old games. So this is the action replay, and this is the DS game. So today, for the first DS game we're going to be doing, is oh Mario Kart DS. Now I I love using these cheats so much. I always have it on infinite time. I play as shy guy. But what we're mainly going to look at is the change circuit into codes modes. So basically, if you pick Desert Hills, it'll turn into Waluigi's Pinball. If you pick Warrior Stadium, it'll turn into Mushroom Bridge. And if you pick um, Cheat Cheat Beach, it'll turn into Bowser's Castle. However, there is three in particular I like to use, which are these three right here, ticked. First one, change N64 Moo Moo Farm into what looks like a circle level. Change the game Nintendo GameCube Luigi Circuit into Nintendo GameCube Mario Circuit. And change Figure 8 Circuit into No Ko No Ko Circuit. So we're just going to get right into the game, it, if, when if you finish you'll, it'll load up the game, go through the top screen, and there we go. It has been so long since I've played this game, I don't know if I'm any good at it anymore. Anyhow, let's start. Alright, so we want to go on versus, oh yeah look I forgot, Rob is a playable character in Mario Kart DS. Obviously my number one favourite. So let's start with Moon Farm. So this is the Nintendo 64 Moo Moo Farm, that will turn into a, a circle track. Recognise anything different? There's the map, but where's Moo Moo Farm? It's just literally a round track, you go round in a circle. What I like to do is, oh, that's it? All I was going to say was, I like to drift round in a circle to the ends. But that is literally the whole track in Moo Moo Meadows. I mean, um, Nintendo 64 Moo Moo Farm. Anyway, next. Right, second glitch. We're now going to go on to the Nintendo GameCube Luigi Circuit level, which you cannot see much because look how it's been designed. It's pitch completely white. Right, look, there's the circuit for the normal Luigi Circuit, and everyone else is going off the track. So, I'm pretty much on on um hills basically but look at the top screen if this weren't here this would have been the very first appearance that this stage had made because this is off Mario Kart Double Dash for the GameCube this stage later made an appearance in Mario Kart Wii if it weren't for that this game would have got it to make its very first appearance well look, there's the castle believe it or not there's the tunnel we're going in Holy crap, I'm good at this. If you remember correctly, there's like pipes around here, but there's no pipes. So, I recommend, if you have one of these action replays, I recommend that you use a bullet bill, because you're going to get confused and you won't know where to navigate. It's pretty easy here to use, actually. But seriously, this thing right here, that is the castle. It's all the same, it's just completely white with hints of grey and black well there's not much for me to say in this other level if I'm being completely honest there's not much to say okay last one figure eight circuit I don't know if this is an entirely real stage in any other Mario Kart game but I don't know if you recognize by the layout so there's the figure eight circuit map and there's everyone driving around the main thing is, if you go off the side, like falling water, if you can see it, you'll literally crash the game. Like, look, those blue bits are water. Look, I can't tell where I'm going, I just crashed. And it crashes. Yep, it's crashed. So, I 100% recommend you use the bullet bill, because this easy navigates through the level very legitimately. Now look down, look down and see where the bullet goes. So, to me, from that tunnel, this looks like a backwards version of Cheat Cheat Beach on this game. 
but without some of the villages and ramps. You get the idea, but this literally just goes around like halfway of figure eight. If this map exists in any, in any other Mario Kart game, if it does, let me know because I don't own every single one in, on the entire planet, obviously. So everyone's pretty much all spread around. So again, if you fall into the water or anything like that, the game glitches. Makes sense. If you want to try and navigate without dying, be my guest. Again, just recommended with the bullet bill because you know where the hell you're going. Or follow the other races. But me, I just stick with the bullet bill because it's pretty legit. Well, there we go, that's all the cheats. Well, um, glitches and easter eggs I could find for now for the first episode of glitching and easter egg hunting. I hope you enjoyed the, um, good little episode to start the series off. Um, I will show you that the next one is also going to be a Nintendo DS game on my DSi. The reason why I did it on my DSi is because the new 3DS system that I have, the new 3DS XL, I'm shocked about this. Nintendo put like a chip inside it so it doesn't access any action replays whatsoever. So it's basically blocked. So I had to use my old DSi XL. It was either that or the other thing. I don't have it. Where'd it go? Or this busted thing. This is my very first DS I've ever had. Is it good? Here's your answer. Does that look good to you? No, of course not. This bugger is about to break sometime, literally, and this is all that it remains. Oh, crap. Oh god, alright, I'm trying to be careful with it. I'll try to hold it. There you go, and this is what it looks like inside my DS. I had this since I was 8, I believe. Believe it or not, it still works. Look at this. But it only lives for exactly 30 seconds. And the D-pad is so stiff and sticky it won't move. But the buttons still work. Chat rooms still work. And you can actually still type on the touch screen. But eventually in like a good few seconds. It will turn off. There's certain parts on the, of the touch screen where you can't touch any of the buttons. So, this little thing I have may be busted and it's about to break, but I'm looking after it because it was my first memorable DS system. One of my favourites, and it was red in my old favourite colour. And then also, we had this little case, if we took this off, we would get a pit, we would get like a little back sticker of Toon Link. Now look at this. And my older sister did this for me, this Mario Me sticker. And I didn't realise till now, well, technically I didn't realise until I got into Retro Gear, that the DS can play Game Boy Advance games. I have never tried, because I told you, it is for 30 seconds, and the control pad's busted. So, this is literally a memorable piece of my childhood. Knackered, but still keeps me happy today. So, definitely the Nintendo DSi to review this stuff on. But anyway, everyone, thanks so much for watching this first episode of the ep of the um, glitching and finding Easter eggs. I'll do better in the next one, hopefully. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good day. <laughs>